Do you also want to reach those high quotas in Lethal Company? Then I have 20 pro tips for you that will make your life way easier. Number 1. Beehives Beehives are usually very valuable items to get. Most people try to get the beehive with two players. One player is luring the bees away and the other one is dragging the beehive back to the ship. The massive downside to this is that you have bees on the loose. These bees might randomly end some of your teammates that are trying to bring back loot. Especially if you are heavy loaded there's no way in getting away. There's a way better way to get the beehives that you can also do in single player. You wait till you have full stamina then you simply walk up to the bees to lure them. Then you just run a wide circle around the bees and spam E on the beehive. You run in the direction of the ship and you drop the beehive before you run out of stamina. And then you rinse and repeat until you get it to the ship. You drop the beehive in the back or on the side of the ship. The important thing is that it doesn't block the entrance so people can still get in and out. When you leave with the ship the bees are flying off and you can go and grab that beehive. You can easily get multiple beehives on the ship with this method. If you are going solo I would recommend going with a max of 2. Place them on the side close to the entrance. When the ship leaves you have to go fast. Grab the first beehive as fast as possible and drop it a few times in the ship so it registers. And then run for the second one as fast as possible. If you get it in time you will be teleported back to the ship. Number 2. The best moons to visit The best moons are usually the ones with the easy access fire escapes. For the early game I highly recommend going to Fao and March. Fao has a fire escape right in the valley. And March has a total of 3 fire escapes. One is behind the ship. The other one is right on the left side of the ship. And the third one is also on the left side of the ship towards the main entrance. Both of these maps are free of charge and usually spawn a lot of beehives. For the late game I would highly recommend going to Titan or Dine. Dine has a super close fire exit that you can even see when you are landing on the left side. Number 3. Avoid corridors early in the day. This tip mainly applies to the industrial layout. A lot of times loot is scattered around the entrances. So check the entrances and the adjacent rooms and bring back all the loot to the door. If you are in a team make sure to send one person back to the ship with all the loot. The rest of the team can then go deeper into the corridors to get more loot. Usually this is where things are getting dangerous and where people are getting lost. That's why it's important that that one person that went to the ship stays at the ship. That way you are avoiding a team wipe and losing all the loot. And that person at the ship can also support the team more via the monitors. Number 4. Sell everything in the beginning. In the beginning phase you want to make sure to have enough money to go to the moons that yield the best items. So I usually want to sell at least 700 worth of items so I can go to Titan. If the quota gets higher than 700 I would only sell what the quota is. This is absolutely essential to reach the high quotas otherwise you won't have enough. From that point onwards you need to avoid team wipes otherwise your items are gone. Number 5. Close doors behind you. I see too many people doing this mistake not closing doors behind them. As a matter of fact all of the monsters except the ghost girl need to open doors to get to you. And especially the ones that attack you from behind like the bracken or the coilhead are extremely dangerous. You can literally avoid stealth kills by them by closing doors constantly. If you are not closing doors because you think you might not find your way back maybe you should start using spray cans. Number 6. Always look behind you. You've probably already been stealth killed by bracken. He has this super intricate AI where he sneaks up on you and then he stealth kills as soon as you look back. If you look at him in time he is gonna back off immediately. So you should always turn around every few seconds or keep your back towards the wall. You should always run a little bit before you turn around because he could already be behind you. So a short run burst will ensure that you get away from him before you look at him. Be aware that there's one exception with the looking back. The ghost girl always spawns behind you so if you hear her behind you don't turn around. If you look at her she's pretty much gonna start to haunt you. Number 7. The best way to kill thumpers and spiders. Thumpers and spiders are best killed by just walking backwards with a shovel. With the spider you sometimes need to run backwards a little bit. If you go very close to the thumper he is actually slowing down immediately. 4 hits on him and he's also gone. Number 8. Use stun grenades on giants. 
Stun grenades are the ultimate getaway tool for giants. Drop a stun grenade while being chased by a giant and you will stun him for 5 seconds. That is more than enough time to get away or find a hiding spot. You can also use the stun grenade in your hand while being grabbed. The important thing is to activate it before the giant grabs you. Number 9. Drop items at the corner of railings. Save yourself some time going up and down by dropping the items at the corner of a railing. If you stand in the corner and you jump with an item and drop it at the same time, it will fall all the way down. Number 10. Close doors to delay enemies. You should not only close doors to avoid stealth kills, you should also close doors while being attacked. If a coilhead wants your booty, it's best to just close doors on him. It usually takes him a long time to even open them. So you can just turn around and run to the exit without worrying looking at him. Even the chester while coming at you will take a few seconds to get through the door. So make sure to get into a habit of closing doors constantly. Number 11. Bring coilheads to doors. If you want to leave without being murdered by coilheads, you just need to bring them to the sides of a door. So just stand at the side of the door and look away from him so he comes to you. If he is close enough, you can just leave without worrying. Number 12. Let the person in the ship deal with the turrets. Sometimes you get a Dine or Titan full of turrets. If that happens, it is best to send one person back to the ship to deactivate the turrets. Make sure that the remaining team sticks together because the person in the ship can only watch one person at a time. Number 13. Split into two teams. Make sure both teams have walkie talkies so they can communicate with each other. One team should go to the main entrance and the other should go to the fire exit. The walkie talkies are a must if one of the teams are encountering a Chester. If you are just running out of the building without warning the other team, the other team is gonna get killed. Number 14. Deal with the masked mimics before it's too late. The masked mimics are exactly doing what they are supposed to do. And that is causing a lot of chaos. Luckily they are actually fairly easy to kill. So I would highly recommend doing that before they become a real problem. If you only have shovels, try to use a hit and run tactic. Sometimes the mimics can get really angry and they will just run at you. So hit them once or twice and then run away. Repeat this until they are dead. Number 15. Use the Dying Fire Exit without a ladder. The Dying Fire Exit is one of the best because it's so close to the ship. You absolutely don't need a ladder for this, you only need stamina. And the way you do this is pretty simple, you walk up a little bit on the right side. You do one jump and then you immediately start running forwards. You strafe a little bit to the left side while also spamming the jump button. And there you go, you successfully Skyrim horse the dying fire exit. Number 16. Order walkie talkies for the doggies. If you have dogs swarming around the ship, it is best to just order something. Since the walkie talkie is the cheapest, just order one of those. The supply ship will land and it will play its iconic music. And all the dogs absolutely hate the music and they will go and try to eat the supply ship. This will give you the perfect opportunity to sneak past them. Number 17. The best way to deal with worms. The earth leviathans outside are super annoying for sure. They almost always mean death, especially if you are carrying items. There is two ways to avoid them. One of the ways is to just run the opposite way once you can see stuff coming out of the ground. Usually it's too late already though and you are getting wormed. The better way is to just drop everything and run away as soon as you can hear this sound. Then just approach your items again to see if the worm is still there. At some point he will go away and you can grab your items. Number 18. Have your back towards a wall when you are haunted by the girl. If you have not managed to not look at the girl, you might be haunted. If that is the case, make sure to have your back towards the wall so she cannot spawn anymore. Number 19. The easiest way to kill a nutcracker without a gun. As you may already know, you can kill nutcrackers and take their shotgun. If you are playing for high quota, I would usually recommend to just ignore them. They are usually not that big of a deal as long as you are standing still while they are looking at you. However, the safest way to kill them without using a stun gun is with stun grenades. You go as close as possible to the nutcracker and throw a stun grenade as soon as he's not looking at you. You immediately approach him with your shovel and hit him two times in the eye. And you repeat this with another stun grenade. 
After that you approach him again and wait till he's not looking at you. Then you just hit him one more time and he is down. This is not only a super safe approach but also yields the most bullets for the shotgun. You will get a fully loaded shotgun plus two additional bullets. And tip number 20 is for people that don't care about cheesing the game. Both the mansion and the industrial layout have easy to reach safe spots. In the industrial layout all the staircases have a safe spot above the railing. Be aware that you can't just jump on the railing, you need to be higher than that. None of the enemies can get you there except of the nutcracker. You could ask yourself why you should even go there. The Chester for example will be locked in with you forever. And this will give your team more time to loot for more items. The mansion layout is filled with safe spots. Because every small bookshelf in the game is literally a safe spot. So just jump on one of them and you're totally safe. Let me know in the comments if this guide was helpful. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmouts. Mm -hmm.